Welcome to the second in our Beautiful Barrow series. These presentations celebrate our wonderful town with an added twist of faith. Walley Island is a small slither of land, only 11 miles long and about one mile wide. Apparently, that makes it the eighth largest island off the coast of England. It hugs the tip of the Furness Peninsula and is connected to Barrow by Jubilee Bridge, built in 1908. It was originally called Walney Bridge, but was renamed in 1935 by the late Queen Mother in honour of King George V's Silver Jubilee. The bridge is a bascule bridge, which allows it to open up and let taller ships and boats through. Walney is low-lying and windswept. It's reported to be the windiest lowland site in England. Windy Walney has some of the best beaches in the Furness Peninsula. The island's northern and southern ends are both nature reserves made up of salt marsh, shingle, sand dunes and brackish ponds. North Walney is one of the best coastal nature reserves in the country. It has that wilderness feel despite being an industrial local landscape. The reserve's most famous resident is the noisy Natterjack toad. One of the UK's rarest amphibians, it is only found in around 40 sites in England. The song of the Natterjack is so loud that it can be heard up to a mile away. The north of the island is also home to the Walney Geranium. This beautiful flower grows nowhere else in the world. It was first discovered in the late 18th century and is saucer shaped and covered in crimson veins. If you want to see it for yourself, the best time to spot it is in the summer. With stunning views across Morecambe Bay, South Walney Nature Preserve is full of interest and is a fantastic place for bird watching. It is also the only place you can watch grey seals in Cumbria. The landscape is constantly changing due to the prevailing westerly winds and the action of the sea, but people have used this exposed stretch of land for hundreds of years. During medieval times it was found by the monks of Furness Abbey, and during the 19th and 20th centuries salt, sand and gravel were extracted, leaving large lagoons and industrial remains, which influenced the wildlife found there today, and even house an oyster farm. The wind is still a feature that is shaping Walney today. 2006 saw the construction of Barrow's first offshore wind farm. Further investment in offshore renewable energy has seen the growth of this industry, and now we have four offshore wind farms nine miles west of Walney, operated by Orsted. The Walney extension was completed in 2018 and is the world's largest operational offshore wind farm and generates clean energy for nearly 600,000 homes. Opinion is divided in the town whether they are beautiful or a blot on the landscape, but either way they are here to stay. The wind is used to full advantage on the coast around Walney for all sorts of leisure and sporting activities too. There's kite flying and then there's kite flying. National competitions are regularly held here on the sea and the sand. It's quite a spectacle. What island would be complete without sailing? Local sailing clubs promote and support yachting in the area with organised racing around the island as well as other activities. We can't see the wind, but we know it's there. Throughout time, humans have learnt to harness the wind, to fill sails and to run wind turbines, but we also struggle to limit the destruction caused by wind as a major cause of erosion. In the Bible, wind is sometimes used to describe doubtfulness or uncertainty, and most of us will know how destructive this can be in our lives. 
In his letter to the Ephesians and in chapter 4 verse 14, Paul speaks about those who are tossed and carried about by all kinds of teachings that change like the wind. James 1 6 states, A person who has doubts is like a wave that is blown by the wind and tossed by the sea. Maybe you feel sometimes that you are blown about or confused by different opinions and that you feel overwhelmed. When boats are tossed about by the wind and the waves, sailors use an anchor. Paul says in Hebrews 6.19 that the Christian's hope is a steadfast anchor for the soul. When the Bible uses the word hope, it's not being used in the wishful sense that many use the word today. Hope in scripture usually refers to a confident expectation. Confident that the God who promises me salvation is trustworthy. He cannot lie. My expectation is that I can be saved, not because of who I am, but because of what Jesus has done. My confidence, my hope is in Christ. An anchor is solid and unmoving. It prevents the boat from drifting or being carried away by wind and tide. And even in a storm when the anchor is well placed, those in the boat can rest knowing they are secure. What an amazing analogy for the life of someone who has put their trust in Christ and who are keeping their eyes on him. If you do spend some time exploring Walney Island, make sure you stay long enough to see the amazing sunset. If you would like to know more about God's good news for the people of Barrow and everywhere else, please find us on Facebook or visit our website at risedalgospelhall.org.uk.